Hello, I am Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today I want to talk to you about miracles. In John chapter 20, verse 30, John records that Jesus did many signs, many miracles in the presence of the disciples, but they weren't all recorded in the book. So there's a lot of missing gaps in the text that Jesus did a lot of stuff we just don't even know about. Now, miracles do exist. There are miracles working in our lives today. There are miracles working in your life today as well. Let me tell you a story about and a testimony about how God worked in my life when I was 16 years of age back in 1987. So you could do your math to tell how old I am. I went to the movie theaters with my friend Walt. Walt had his own car, 1980, I think six or seven Mitsubishi Precies. And he picked me up. I didn't drive yet back then. I didn't have a car. So I happily went to the movies with him. I think we might have been even going to a rated R movie. I don't remember. You know how teenagers are. But I jumped in the car. I forgot to put my seatbelt on. And as we sped down the road, a gentleman in an RV took a quick turn in front of our path, trying to cross the road. He didn't see us in time. We didn't see him in time. My friend Walt instinctively slammed the brakes, pushed, pulled up the emergency brake, which caused the wheels to lock and the car to skid. And it veered toward the passenger side, my side, where it struck the RV at over 55 miles an hour. And as it struck, I flew violently forward into the dash, into the windshield. The imprint of my arms and my forehead were on the windshield. My right knee slammed into the dash, breaking the dash in half. In fact, I got pictures of it that's totally broken half. My right femur snapped in half completely like a twig. My right ankle broke in three places. Both arms were shattered. This one was broken. This elbow, right elbow was completely shattered in cornflakes. And the next thing I know, I blacked out. The next thing I know, I awoke with blood pouring down my face, glass, shards of glass embedded inside my head. And I was a total freaking out. I was a total wreck, literally. And I remember, the only thing I remember after that impact is waking up feeling that blood, and I was crying out for my mom. And I was the EMS and the fire department using the jaws of life to pry the vehicle door open. And they had, in fact, it was a hatchback, so they had to take me out my stretcher out of the back of the vehicle in order to put me in the ambulance to take me to the hospital, where I spent over a week in the ICU and then another week in a regular ward. I had multiple broken bones. I had emotional scars, physical scars. I literally was a wreck. God saved me that day. In fact, a year later, I was able to get all the hardware that they put inside me to straighten my bones all taken out. And I was completely healed. In fact, now I'm in the United States Army. That shows how much God had healed my body. But if it weren't for that accident, I would have probably not gone several years later to Bible college. Maybe I might have met my wife, Krista, we may have not even gotten married and had our three kids and now I'm a grandfather and maybe I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I wouldn't have been probably 14 years in the pastorate and civilian churches and then in the army. Who knows where I would have been? The point is there are miracles working in our lives today and there's a miracle working in your life today. It may not be as dramatic as a car accident. It may not be dramatic as other things, but it may be something small and simple. But God still works miracles. I do not believe that God only worked miracles in the New Testament or in the Old Testament. I believe that God is working miracles for us today. And he's working a miracle in your life. It could be a relationship miracle. It could be a financial miracle. It can be a miracle at a job. It can be a miracle for your career or in your life. Or maybe you were saved from a car wreck or an illness, whatever it may be. I believe God still works miracles in our life and he still intervenes in our life for us today, for our good, because God loves you and he loves me and he loves us so much. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world to save us from our sins. Yes, bad things happen to good people and I cannot explain that. I'm not God. I don't know why he doesn't act in certain times when we want him to act or we need him to act. But I do know this, 
God will act in our life just as the right time. Maybe not our timing, but his timing. And he knows what's best for us. I encourage you today to look to God for those answers, to look to him for those miracles, because I still believe he works miracles in our life today. And even in this age of the COVID-19 virus, God still works miracles.